Hello, how are you guys doing? <clears throat> I'm doing well. Um, still kind of, um, still kind of reeling from what I was, uh, just editing. Um, I don't know if people are going to be ready for, um, for what I'm doing for the video this week. It's, uh, it's something. It's something else, let me tell you. Um, it may be something else to the point that it's, it's just too, too much. Uh, and if it's too much, then we're probably gonna, I'm gonna probably back down from that and not do it. Um, because, um, there are a lot of things that I find funny. Um, some people may not find the chaos that I find funny, funny. And in which case, maybe we shouldn't. Um, what I saw last time I checked was Homestuck was winning. Could be wrong. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Homestuck won by uh, a 8% margin with like just over 930 uh, votes. Homestuck won with 90 or 39%. Majora's Mask 30%. Dognarampa 31%. So there you go. Those are the numbers. Um, let me get the screen region all right. I think I'm going to cut out chat this time. Um, there were some complaints on After Hours about it, and I feel like they were legitimate. Um, I'm sorry about that. Also, it looks like my save... Here, hold on. Stop. It looks like my save didn't save. Like, I click load game, and it does nothing. I clicked auto save, and that didn't do anything either. So, I... I, I don't know. How do I just go to the... Go to the go to the bit that we were at. Did I delete my cookies? No. So I just kind of click through this. Uh, do you think you'll be able to do some more European friendly Homestuck streams in the future? I've been um I've been thinking about uh the time that I've been streaming. Um, am I private browsing? No. I'm gonna keep clicking this. You're on page 411. That's very helpful of you. Whoop! Not not that far. I don't know what that is yet. I'm gonna go and delete that before I see what that is. Okay, cool. There we go. Save game. Uh, and then the correct but li or, uh, link I need to do is is instead this. That was uh, 4,011 rather than uh, 411. <sighs> so I've been thinking about maybe changing up the time that I've been streaming, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. Just check your history. Yeah, um, let me see if, like, anything else, like, two, three, oh. Yeah, it looks like the most recent one is probably 411. Thank you for that exact knowledge. Knowledge. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> also, um, it... it how does my mic sound? I tried to, uh, I tried to make it sound good. Does it sound good? I, I changed it for Minecraft and it sounded better on there. As long as I don't shout or cough or, um, just breathe. Exist? Good? Okay. It was a little bit crackly. Dave is pestering you. You don't have time to deal with his nonsense right now. Something is amiss in your room and you can't put your finger on it. Hurry and activate the generator. So last time we left off, um, sounds good as long as you stay quiet. <laughs> as long as I shut up, it sounds good. Homestuck ASMR. I've been listening to a lot of ASMR. Slight spoilers for this uh, week's video, but um, it's a... Uh, I don't think you guys are ready for that. I, um... I said so the slurs not really for I mean yeah I do I've gotta I feel like people are gonna cut it out of context especially because there's nothing to like make it sound like I didn't say it some other time um, anyway um, Rose needed to go hook up the battery in order to uh, get things working like she can't help John out up until she actually gets this going on. 
So, yeah. I mean, YouTube had uh, mixed opinions of me not reading the slurs. Um, and, I mean, it's like, it's the the words. I remember, Does okay, does anyone remember? We've got like two pages in, but I'm already going to stop. Um, does anyone remember the uh, bit where... Um, where I think it was Obama was reading his own like autobiography and he ends up saying the N word in reference to himself and just like the jarring, just hearing Obama say the N word is like, it's when, when you hear someone like if you heard like PewDiePie say the N word, it's not as jarring to me as hearing president for eight years Obama say the n-word it's just a weird thing <laughs> so like I expect it from PewDiePie I don't expect it from Obama <sighs> exactly anyway um, you fire up the generator and drag the cord to the mausoleum it of course would be foolish uh, to run the generator inside the confined space. Generator safety is everybody's business. Defile the tomb. Sorry, Jaspers. I have to make space for the laptop. Besides, your final resting place is already a mockery. You should have decomposed years ago under a bed of petunias like a normal cat. Not given to a taxidermist fitting you with a tiny custom-tailored suit and then stuffed into a coffin built for infants. You plug your laptop and connect to the internet signal again. Everything is per uh, everything particularly falls out of your Silidex, but you're not about to get bent out of shape about it. You have bigger fish to fry. Looks like Dave noticed you were back online and he pesters you like clockwork. And there's John. What on earth is he up to now? The there's the boy. The boy? Boy. I don't see any boys. I see John. You're right. Didn't Rose zinc the door off of its hinges and prop it against your bed? Something or someone or something has put it back and left it slightly ajar. Also, quick question. Uh, give me a, um, so what is the command for yay? Um, is it like, I don't know. Type one in chat if me posting on Tumblr, um, was the reason that you came here today, just now. So that way I know uh, if that's actually worth doing. Because I, I figured there are still Homestucks on Tumblr. You came from Reddit. I didn't even post on Reddit. How did you get here from Reddit? I have a Twitch notifier. Nay, nay, okay. Only from Twitter. I'd imagine most people are from Twitter. Uh, 42, 420. Nice. Nice. This is our home. Twitter, Twitter is the way to do it. Uh, most of the home sucks are on Twitter more so. Okay, cool. So I don't really need to do Tumblr as well. Am I going to show chat again? There were issues with it last time, apparently. Um, I didn't watch back the whole two hours, but I'm just going to take everyone's word on it in the comments and just go, maybe we don't, you know? Um... Pester John. Why the fuck? I'm sure that'll get brought up. Oh, there you are. John said your house was burning down. And are you on fire yet or what? No. For now, I've retired to the safety of a smaller building, which is much closer to the forest fire threatening my residence. Well, that's a relief. John told me to get the game and help you out there, so I'm working on that now. Working on it? Yeah, my bro's copy. Long story. Hey, don't tell John, but I think you might be right about the puppets. They're sort of starting to freak me out a little bit are you referring to your brother's collection um yeah after uh after lich Pit said that most of the homestucks are on twitter now i was like oh right tumblr happened um and that kind of fucked things up is my uh, one in chat if you came from the myspace post that i did um working on it yeah my bro's uh, copy long story. Don't blah blah blah. Uh, okay, lots of one. Okay, so I definitely need to keep posting on MySpace. 
More people are here from MySpace than t uh, Twitter and Tumblr combined. Wow, that's that's impressive. Um, how about that porn Pornhub post of yours? I mean, that was just me, just me, just rubbing one out. Um. Anyway, I'm starting to think that some. Um, right. I don't mean to get all. It, don't I mean don't get me wrong I think it's cool and all the semi-ironic puppet thing or whatever or semi semi-ironic man I don't even know I'm just starting to think that some of this shit is going a little far and it's kind of fucked up I've seen his websites I like them yeah well you would oh man I wish little Cal wouldn't look at me like that with those dead eyes Jesus I keep losing my spot I actually slept Um, I actually slept last night and that was helpful, but I emailed you through air. Yeah. You came here through my RSS feed. There actually is a Vinesnos RSS feed, I think. Um, let me go ahead and just go ahead and give you a good old timeout. There we go. It's good. I don't know what that was. It was Shrek. Okay. It's that Shrek guy again. Welcome back, Shrek guy. Don't do that again. Um... I've seen his websites. I like them. Well, you would. Uh, sometimes I dream that he's real and he's talking to me and I wake up in a cold sweat and basically flip the fuck out. Interesting. Oh, God. Why did I tell you my dream? You're going to have a field day with that. I'm currently scrawling notes furiously into one of my psychoanalyst journals that I maintain for you. Published papers forthcoming. Because, you know, it's not like either of us have anything better to be doing at this moment than evaluating each other's radically debilitating pathologies. Yeah, I'm going to get moving. Uh, oh, have you heard from John? He's not answering me. He won't answer me either, but I'm watching him. I suspect he's preoccupied with the fact that he had just had a bucket of water dumped on his head by a ghost of his dead grandmother, who happens to also be dressed as a clown. All right, I'm out later. Rev, why? Because I agreed to do this for charity. That's why. Interrogate this mad woman. Sure. JoJo's coming along as well. I watched two episodes of it. I need to get back to it. And um, I need to do like a batch recording where I watch like two hours of it. And that way um, you guys like the whole thing. Yes. I agreed to read one page of JoJo for every uh, $25 we raised as part of the charity, Jen. So um, yeah, the whole fucking thing. And then I agreed to read... Um, or watch one episode of JoJo for every thousand dollars we read or uh, raised. So all of JoJo, as far as I know, and all of Homestuck. One page of JoJo. What's wrong with JoJo? I have more fun fucking with the people who like JoJo than actually watching it. I'll be honest. Um, Nana, yes, dear. Wow, you've scared the living daylights out of me. Well, I guess it was really a good prank. Good one, Nana. Anyway, what are you really my dead Nana? Of course, this teal on white. You satanic hell beast. Why would you do that? Of course, John. I've come back to help you on your journey through the medium and beyond. I'm delighted to see what a fine man you've turned out to be, just like your father. It's teal on white. That's just a fucking awful. That's that's. HTML 101, don't do that shit. Okay, I guess I'll take your word for it. I don't remember you at all. My dad says that I was really young when you died. Hey, speaking of which, do you know where he is? I looked everywhere for him. Hope Suck said, fuck accessibility. Have you heard? Haven't you heard? I haven't. That makes sense. It gets much worse. Fuck off. Your father was kidnapped. Oh, no. I'm just going to do this. This will make it easier for me to read. Because then it's it's blue on white, which is still bad, but readable. You can read these words. <sighs> when you've crossed over to the medium, he, will, he was apprehended by the very forces of darkness, which your presence here has awakened. What? Okay, so is the medium... Uh, what is the medium you're talking about? 
is where we are right now. A realm uh, that is a ring of pure void dividing light into darkness and turns in the thick of the... Ugh, fuck off. A place of a place untouched by the flow of time in your universe. You mean because we're inside of a computer or the game or software or something like that? Or computer? Why, what is that, dear? Some newfangled contraption like a horseless auto box car? It's a machine that, like, um... Woohoo! I have to... How, how often is she doing that? Of course I know what a computer is. I was just pulling her leg. Woo! Oh, she does that a lot. So we're doing that every time. Oh, okay. Great. Oh, okay. No, John. You're not inside of a computer or software or anything like that. Try not to be so linear, dear. Software that brought you here was merely a mechanism that served as a gateway. It's a routine uh, in a way served to invoke this realm's instance, yet in stands independently of any physical machine and is somewhat paradoxically always has. I'm not sure I get it, but all right. Yeah, you're just going to brush that one aside? You're just going to let that one roll? That didn't make sense. So we're... So the computer program made an alternate dimension where time doesn't exist, and now we're there, and it also existed before that. That is what I understood out of that sentence. I think it would be best if we started with the big picture. Yes. Not really. No, they're not in a... No, I know they're not in a game universe. Sort of like how you, um... It's just a gateway. Okay. That's close enough for me to give a shit about. Start taking notes now? No, I'm alright. I'll just ask you guys what the fuck is happening. This reminds me very much of, like, Undertale-esque music. By the way, um, I did do a uh, playthrough of Undertale, but Episode 4 is in currently in, like, a copyright hell for a minute. Um, and will be for the next little bit. Um, basically a SoundCloud rapper copyright claimed, uh, the music for Snowden. And then, um, yeah. You big dumbass. No, I... <laughs> so, episode four of my, uh, Undertale run-through is gonna be, uh... I did actually message the actual company that own or helps protect the music for Undertale, who does not give a shit if you let's play it, uh, and was like, "Hey, there's a there's a problem. Uh, which one of you guys has the copyright claim to this? This company or this company?" And the company that actually owns the music for Undertale um, was just like, "Hey, uh." Are you guys going to send us royalties or what? And so chances are that copyright claim will go away soon. But until it does, I will not be able to... Um, I'm not going to put that up because I don't want some random SoundCloud rapper to get money from something they don't own. So sorry for the roundabout uh, explanation, but that's my best way of explaining it. Uh, above the medium beyond the seven gates residing at the core of the something or other sphere is a place known as fuck off legend holds that fuck off exists as a dormant crucible of unlimited creative potential what does that mean you ask I'm afraid my lips are sealed about that my dear Woohoo! but needless to say where a realm is such profound importance is concerned forces of light will forever be char char charged charged with its defense, while forces of darkness will also persistently covet its destruction. It's it's literally is this literally just Kingdom Hearts now? And so it happens at the center of this realm, whose fate is in question. These two forces duel on a stage, stuck in an eternal stalemate. Yes, they have dueled in this manner forever. That is until you showed up. It's more like Final Fantasy, kind of, sorta. I never really like, got into a. Uh, Oh, hey, Mike. Um, we need to figure out what we're doing here on Monday. 
Uh, I need to find um, some mods for it. But anyway, you ready for for this shit? We're 423 pages in now. Thank you for the resub, by the way. Um, 29 months of support. It's very kind of you. Me? Yes, you, John. Before your mishap with my ashes, you may recall the sprite's previous incarnation, which resulted in the colonel's hatching. You see, this hatching occurs automatically in response to your uh, arrival. The result is a pair of colonels, one dark and one light, each carrying... Oh! So it's almost better if... Oh, so they're all becoming clowns because we made them clowns. And so if you really want to, like, power game this shit... Make them, like, infirm, useless things. Hitobot, thank you for the 35 months of support. So, like, you could, you could, like, put, like, I don't know, um, a cake and, like, yeah. You just gotta make the most useless combinations possible and then just, like, wreck everything because you're not made out of, like, glass. So why didn't... So, okay, good. You know what? A grandma... Previously, I said not as good as a gun, but so pretty good. Grandma is better than gun. You see this hatching occurred, blah, blah, blah. One goes up into the kingdom entrenched in the darkness. The other goes up into the kingdom basking in life. Each of these comes uh, to rest in an orb that stops the top to spire... Of which there are three others in kind. The four spirits are situated above a throne. And these two thrones preside over the respective sovereign powers. And once the kernels are situated when the game is afoot, the true war begins. Light versus dark, good versus evil. This is a war that the forces of light are always destined to lose without exception. We're getting into like some really meaty plot bits, Mike. And I'm just reading words. It doesn't... I'm having a hard time understanding how, like, a child in... Uh, when did this come out again? When it did, anyway. Um, how they could bother to read that page and like, 2009. So, how could, how could a child in 2009 read that and be like, that's a... That made sense and I enjoyed it. Like, you can't... Why is this the thing that everyone decided to read? There are video games. How are you bored? Well, really, then what's the point? It remains for you to find out. Uh, for, you see, the journey you are about to ta uh, take is the ultimate riddle. For now, your objective is to proceed towards... Fuck off. Uh, to pass through the first gate, situated directly above your house. Not even that terribly far. The gates have become progressively more and more difficult to reach so you would better be prepared to sharpen your adventuring skills how am i supposed to get up there you build i think i get it now the cats are now running around the apartment like crazy people how is rev having this much trouble saying that word well here's the deal skaya yeah, I've never heard that word pronounced, so I have no concept of how that's supposed to be pronounced because I'm stupid. So if you hear some, like, rustling about, it's the cats going absolutely ape shit. So I guess the battle against good versus evil is irrelevant. Well, I don't know. It kind of sounds weird. But in any case, we build the house to get to the gates and then we can say my dad. Yes, John. And after that, we solved the ultimate riddle, the thing that saved us. So, hold up. So, in the explanation that was just given, up is where the kingdom of light is, and down is where the bad is. This sprite appeared down here. Why are you not evil? Unless if it's more down. Is grandma evil? Up is where the portals are to the other places. No. Okay. Taking wild guesses on how this works. And the less I talk, the more you're like, yes, that's right. Oh, hey, there's a bucket. 
that's sexual for some reason, according to everyone who talked about it on uh, the uh, Hive Swap videos. Apparently, there was an update. They let people know about the the thing. So that's good. Asking stuff like that will get you spoiled. No, I mean, it's like... Mm. <sighs> Troll romance. Great. I like to explain stuff that I'm thinking out loud whenever I'm playing a game like this or Danganronpa. So that way you guys kind of know what's going through my head. Because otherwise it's just me reading the shit. And then occasionally going off on rants about other crap. The update is in Act 2. Oh. Your planet is done for, dear. There's nothing you could do about that. Oh. Your purpose is so much more important than saving that silly old planet, though. And that is... Hoo -hoo! Yes, I have to agree with the floating hag about that. <coughs> John, you are such a good boy. I know you will succeed. Thanks, Nana. You're a good boy, and a good boy deserves treats. Hooray. I'm going to go bake you some cookies. Why are you upset about getting ghost cookies? Ghost cookies sound great. Hag mentioned cookies. Pursue her. Yeah, not a great burp. I apologize. Oh, damn it. That's just what you need. More baked goods. Who hates baked goods? I don't get what... I mean, like, the number of cakes he's had so far... Is it just like a, what, that thing when you've had too many cakes? So that's a thing, I guess. John, you do not say no to cookies. I command you to get them. He's had, like, ten cakes today alone. It's complicated. People with celiac disease... Does John have celiac disease? Is there a reason he wouldn't want to eat more cake? His dad made him multiple cakes. I think there are actually Homestuck fans that are sexually aroused by buckets. Okay, well, I'm going to stop reading chat for a minute. You totally absurd the hell out of that idea. Uh, you're too busy abjuring that you don't even notice that Rose has been trying to pester you this whole time. Rose, hit John on the head with a box to get his attention. You give John a quick, uh, swift drubbing on the noggin. He's undeterred. That is some f fit he is throwing. Perhaps you will take the spare moment to contemplate Nana Sprite's strange tale and maybe behoove you to record your thoughts and the developments in your game FAQ walkthrough slash journal. It'll be a hard time updating it. In fact, uh, you're not even sure where you found the time to re write what's already in there. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Toaster Nerd 64 thank you for the host. So this is, oh, is that so, Jaspers? What do you think you're looking at with that smug grim grin? Last thing you need is sass from a dead cat. It's pretty much all his fault that you're in this place, or in this mess in the first place. So you can just button it. John, cookies now. You refuse outright. The impudence is insufferable. Go get cookies. When you put it so politely, how can John decline? John, you are stupid. Stupid, stupid, dumb. That is not a command. It's nothing. It's stupid. You're stupid. Here's the deal. When it comes to kids with cancer, I'm going to go through a lot of bullshit. So the people who are like, oh, you won't do it. Like, in the very least, if people, like, stop watching these, if people stop showing up to watch, then, you know, yeah, I'll just read it on my own rather than read it on stream. Same thing with JoJo. If people stop watching the... The, the things I'm making for JoJo, like the uh, Rift Tracks thing for it, then I'll stop doing those and I'll just start watching it by myself. Considering that Homestuck is the, the, the first episode of the Homestuck After Hours thing is literally the most popular thing I've made all year. Like, it did good for what I would consider a highlight video to be good at. You know? A good highlight video, I'm like, it'd be nice if it got 10,000. I expect it to get about 7,000, 8,000 views. But if it gets 10,000... I'm going to go get myself a drink and just kind of have a nice night because I deserve it. I made some good content after hours, a little bit less because, you know, people are just catching up. So it's, you know, like, you know, 500, 700 is fine, you know, but when, when an after hours video gets 22 something thousand views in the first week, I'm going to be like, yeah, all right.
If y'all are enjoying it, then I'm enjoying it. It's why you stream in the first place. For the last time, I command that you get the cookies, boy. Why is it? Why did the case? The case since why did that happen there? It's just not gonna happen there, buddy. Years in the future. I'm gonna have to do this like maybe like once a week, just so that way I don't blow my voice out. Though I do have to say that because like, you know, sometimes with video games, I can just not talk for a bit. Oh, he literally just like let go of caps lock. Um, but you're really not uh, enough to write home about. An agitated finger slips mid keystroke. The fuck? Um, this explains the whole medium ha uh, thing and whatever we just read, and I'm not going to read it again because, um,. Here's the boy again. I like his aesthetic. Like that aesthetic I'm down with. Best character. Only good character. Um, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna believe that I can skip reading all of this. Is that true? The gif at the top? It's fine. The This? That? Is that what you wanted to see? Yeah, we saw it. Please skip it. We are, it's the same thing again. When is the next Dognarapa stream? Uh, let's do tomorrow. I think that sounds good. <sighs> she is not finished with this yet. Jeez, cut her some slack. Maybe you could go bug someone else for a while, or at least very, uh, at least someone else. Months in the past, but not many. Hey, hey, hi. Happy birthday, Rose. Hello and thanks. Did you get John's present yet? I just opened it this very moment, and what a stunning coincidence you would ask about it now. I'm stunned. Yeah, I know. What will you make with it? Oh, who said I was going to make something from which uh, something else could be made? Well, John did tell me what it was. Duh. I suppose I'll take that. Uh, I'll take a stab at learning the craft. It's at least a decent. It's the least I could do in response to a subtle dig concealed in his gesture. He often tells me I need a new hobby when I make it perfectly reasonable analytical remarks. Oh, but Rose, I don't think you meant anything by it. You see, not everyone is always means the opposite of what they say the way you and Dave always do. Maybe. His birthday is in a few months, isn't it? Yep. I already finished uh, a present for him. I've been working on it for years. Years? It's hard to tell when you're joking. Or perhaps even if you're capable of it. Heh <laughs> heh. I just mailed it, uh, too. Uh, so it is sure to get there in time. Mail takes a while to get, uh, anywhere from here. I'll probably craft something with my strong sentimental, with strong sentimental value. That should burn him. I don't think you really mean that. I guess not. I shall expect a green package dropped to my house via airmail from whatever screwball cranny of the globe you're tucked into. Er, no, sorry, but you're sort of hard to shop for. Besides, I have something for you today that I think would be you would like better than something in a box. Oh, it's a tip. This is already intriguing enough to confiscate for the grave scarcity of lavish grips parachuting from the sky. Please go on. Did you have a pet long ago that died? Yes. Well, how did you feel about your cat? Did you love him a lot? Okay, well, I didn't mention it was a cat or that it was male. Let's pretend I'm surprised and you're embarrassed and move on. To answer your question, I would describe my feelings towards the animal as lukewarm. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I just, what if I told you I could play a game that would bring him back to life? That you could play a game. That would, okay. Um, if someone told me that, I would regard that remark with a great deal of skepticism. If that someone was you, on the other hand, I would uh, have to ask preemptively, is that someone you? It's a pretty good line. What's happened so far? We've only got like 30 something pages in. 30 pages in 30 minutes. That's a page a minute. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so someone is me. I uh, just thought you might find it interesting. So what's the game? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying is all. I think you'll hear about it later and maybe you can talk to John and Dave about it. 
So it hasn't been really discussed, but I'm I'm wondering everyone refers to the green text as Jade, so I'm gonna say Jade. I know Jade is a character. I just uh so Jade is either in a different timeline where these things are happening not yet, or she's actually psychic. It's Spoiler chat. Yeah, I'm not I'm not reading chat all that much. Um uh, I'll see what the world word on the street is about it in due time. For now, you should probably order a copy of Knitting for Assholes. It would be a shame if I ran late with John's present. Dave, get Katana. You capture a Katana and prepare to venture out into the apartment. This fucking bullshit. Like, could you have picked a worse one? Like, the fact that you have to do, like, math in order to, like... I mean, like, I already know, like, some stuff about Homestuck. Just incidentally, the world exists. People talked about Homestuck back in the day, you know? I know Gamzee exists, and I know there's one that's deaf or mute. One of the two. I don't know if it's the same person. There's also the Juggalos. So, I know things exist, but I don't know much about them, like, contextually. I haven't spoiled my... I have friends that read it back in the day. I made a video called, I don't know anything about Homestuck. Did you guys watch that shit? That's everything I know about Homestuck. That and Hive Swap. I watched all of Home... Or, or all of, uh... Or played all of Hive Swap. So, I'm that far. I know that much, and then everything that's in that one video and everything that was said in the comments of the Hive Swap videos. <sighs> Hive Swap is a prequel. Hive Swap is a prequel to this. Hive Swap is a prequel to Homesuck? The fuck? Sorry, I shouldn't shout. Retrieve dead bird. A lot of the flash run. Dude, that bird is long gone. Probably won't last long in this heat anyway. You probably... Uh, you don't even know what's up with this sick heat. The th so people said that he lives in Austin, Texas. Is that true or is it just Texas? I'm going to finish watching this cinematic. Oh, you can press a button. Somewhere in Texas. He lives near Austin. Houston. That looks a bit more like Houston than it does. Um, here, hold on. Looks a bit more like Houston than it does uh, Austin. This is downtown Houston. And you got like uh, Austin. Actually, let me put this up in a private window just in case if it tries to figure out my location. Austin has like some buildings like that. They're mostly along uh, Lady Bird Lake, which is actually like a river, but we've never seen water before. So we call the river a lake. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet Houston. Houston is like a five hour drive. Every building, city has buildings. Not every city has buildings like this. Wiki says Houston. I would believe Houston. A high rise apartment in a big city. It's either Houston, it could be Dallas. I've been in Dallas enough to know, but that looks like Houston to me. Anyway, I won't even know what's up with the sick heat. The sun threatens uh, to set, but won't step off. Staring down on you like big red eye with hot needle. Stepping on the groove, it's tracing around the earth. While lingering in the midair, its heat is... Let me take off my headphones for a second, because that's distracting me. Uh, tracing around the earth, lingering in the midair, the heat 
seems to be suspending time itself, stretching it like warp vinyl. It's meant to rain this season, but there ain't been a drop in sight. Even a little drizzle would help. Even a little frizzle, the sizzle, a little bizzle, set the record straight to this global turn tizzle. So don't change, train. So don't change the dizzle. Turn up the little. I got a little. I got a living room full of fine dime bristles. Waiting on the prizzle, the dizzle, and the shizzles. G to the bizzack. Now, ladies, here we gizzo. When the pimps in the crib, ma, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I was gonna say this seems more like a. It says romantic poet John Keats, and John Keats, good, good poet, but uh, I don't think he said, drop it like it's hot. I feel like these quotes are... Exit your uh, room and go to the living room. Sorry, little dude, coming through. Just got to pull you down for a bit. Figure you left him hanging long enough. Hastily enter the room with wild abandon. You barge in and see a familiar face. A friendly face. I'll just slide this over here. Need to actually keep like a track on this, so. Good flow. Almost every quote is inaccurate. Snoop Dogg. Romantic poet. You're not an English major like Vinny. That's, that's true. That's true. You stand in the living room. Uh, bro spends most of his days in here. He at last at night he crashes your on the futon over there. You don't see him anywhere. So does he live here or is he just is he just like this for no discernible reason? But the pi puppet chest where he stores a little cal and where when he takes him out on gigs, but he's usually home. Uh, but when he's home, he usually leaves Cal on display somewhere, and with good reason, because Cal is totally sweet. So sweet, man. He doesn't get a room. Okay, so it's, he just lives in the living room. That's kind of a thing you do in, uh... It's kind of a thing you do in an apartment, actually. Stop clipping when I rap, please. I don't need this life. It's your brother's Mr. T puppet, which of course is kept in the apartment with a total sense of profound humorous ir irony. But the usual with your bro's exploits, there is no ordinary irony or anything close to the pedestrian tier one ironic gesture, which is the meager single step removed from sincerity. This is like 10 levels of irony removed from the original joke. It may have, like, it might have been funny like eight years ago to joke about Mr. T and how awesome he, uh, and how he was sort of lame, but the very thing that made him awesome and badass, that his awesomeness was also sort of joke, but in this case, the joke is the joke, and then the degree of irony itself is also a joke, and so on. Only highly adept satirical ninjas like you and your bro can appreciate stuff like this. It's cool taking stuff that other people think is funny, but you know really isn't, and they're making it funny again by adding a subtle strata of irony, which is utterly indetectable to the untrained eye. So many empty words. It, so, like, it's like, it's funny because it's not funny anymore, and ta talking about it, despite the fact that everyone knows it wasn't funny even when it was funny, but pretending like it's funny... Are pretending like it's cool, even though it was never cool. It was always funny, but it's not funny anymore because the funniness wore off eight years ago, which is even longer now. So it's not even funny now, and it wasn't funny then, but it's cool because it was never funny, but now it's funny. Natalie, thank you for the 33 months of support. Dave might be trying to convince himself. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to not see my cat up on the... Oh, wow. What did you bring down? What do you got there, Herman? Do you have a hat? Herman has decided to take a hat down from uh, up on top of the bookcase. 
No, no, excuse me, it's not a hat. Let's see, what is this? What have you found? It looks like a plushed anime character. I have no idea who it is. Tilda loves them. Um, it's from a series that I don't know if I've seen. It's from before we were dating. Um, so it's a character here now. Herman is into anime. Herman, I'm going to ask that you don't get the... Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Guys, Abby, you make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Herman, you come down. Herman, Herman, come sit with me. Come sit with me. See? I'm giving you pets. If you sit right here, you get all the pets. But if you go over to the bookcase, I'm going to get mad. Okay. There's food in your bowl. You're fine. <sighs> Abby is now keeping guard of the anime character. <sighs> Let's see. And for good measure, Mr. T is wearing a leather thong and handcuffed to a pantsless Chuck Norris puppet. God, you hope you can be as good as your bro. I hope you can be as good as your bro at this someday. You'll never tell him that, though. Find little Cal and give him fist bumps. Cal's nowhere in sight. All you see is a bunch of your bro's weird nude puppets strewn about haphazardly. You guess those things are kind of cool, sort of? Modern memes are like, um, they're more Dadaist. Like, and I, I use that a little bit lightly because like people like to say they're Dadaist, but they, they do share some of the, the K like core components. It's just sort of like nothing matters. This world is hell and sucks total ass. I've seen war and it's going to just be shit. So fuck it. But that's not what's going on here. This is more of like, um, 2000s-esque irony based humor play a game on your xbox looks like your bro is playing it's not like him to leave in the middle of some totally intense gaming not that like him to misplace cal either man you hope the little guy's all right oh there you are dude didn't see you there wait hold on oh fuck i don't like that we be chilled today, Cal? You better be fucking believe we be chilling. Cal is the man. Resist the urge to play bro's Xbox. You fail to resist the urge. You start thrashing up stunts, something uncanny, uh, something uncanny brutal on your quest for mad snacks, yo, to get this brood hunger under control. Shit is basically flying off the hook. I feel so incredibly awkward reading these lyrics like they do not that's not not mm. <sighs> it's like shit uh wants nothing to do with the hook the hook is dead and off to the shit you get stuck in some poorly moderate modeled 3d picture or something like a railing or a piece of wall you have to reset fuck this shit Give little Cal a bro fist bump. This is just how he talks. Yeah, I know. I realize that's just how he talks. I'm just like rejecting into my soul. You almost forgot. Got to give the C-man some props. Check out your bro's sweet gear. Your bro has such sweet gear. It's hard to keep up with all this sometimes. Here's your computer setup. Or here is his computer setup. He's given a lot of this stuff cooking around here any moment at any given moment. <coughs> oh, that was weak. One out of ten. Since he's not around, you might as well sneak a peek. Look at your brother's computer. Your bro's computer is password protected, of course. To protect all the incredibly top secret shit that he's got in the burners. I I so much love having like unnecessary like password protection stuff on stuff but i don't need to anymore it's inconvenient because sometimes like tilda needs to use the like printer and the only computer in the house that it can actually use the printer is this computer so it's like kind of inconvenient if i password protected it and also like i don't fucking really care but unnecessary password protection is fun 
Because it's like, I know a password. Like, laptop absolutely will have a password if I actually intend on taking it outside. But, you know, this, nah. Password is irony. No, it's not. It's cool. It makes me feel like a hacker. Because I have passwords on things. Especially when the password screen looks like this. Am I fucking weirdo? You've been here for like an hour. How do you not know this? Of course you know what the password is. And he knows you know it. And you're both cool with it. Because the password is the most awesome thing it can be. You answer the password and on the computer is a hodgepodge of unnamed folders to store all the stuff that he's working on. No one can decipher his organizational system like him. But he also tends to use the application complete bullshit to keep up the ludicrous number of websites and news feeds he monitors to stay hip with the scene. Open complete bullshit. This is complete bullshit. Check if sweet bro and hella Jeff has a sweet update. I mean, this is kind of how I keep my tabs a good deal of the time. Your bro keeps up with your projects in his, or keeps up with your projects in his aggregator, just like you keep up with his. He's tuned into the various blogs and, of course, sweet bro hella Jeff, and navigate to the latest comic is one of the many bullshit feed bands. <clears throat> bro, I got a ticket for the big game. It's sports. Dog, I'm so jealous. You know I love the big game the, the 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 big game oh yeah and there he goes the big man has the rock he's driving so hard through the point downtown alley 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 I'll, I'll you for the sw slam dunk there you go Dave, mouse over the orange stripe containing plush rump. At what point do you just sort of accept that your brother has a weird puppet fetish? High soft ass quivers foam proboscis at soft ass. I bet there's a lot to give. Bounce a coin off it. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I bet that coin will take a good nap there. Yeah. Sweet bro hella Jeff is definitely required reading. Don't read that softly. No, I will... Do you guys... Just ASMR reading. Another one of your bro's many ironic websites. The difference here is he rakes in thousands of dollars a month through this enterprise. Smuppets are a multi-billion dollar a year enterprise. It's hardly... It's awfully hard to resist taking a firm squeeze of the plump udder of that cash cow. Stop wasting time and look for bro's beta. Oh, he runs a... He runs a website for, uh... For puppet ass... I'm going to regret asking this question. Um, there, there's Homestuck. There's Homestuck. There's Homestuck pouring of a bucket, I assume, based on what people were saying in chat. Is there also Homestuck pouring of a puppet? Is it ironic? Like, are people cos like are, are people cosplaying as Dave or pretending they're Dave and then go Don't no, I'm not gonna Google home smut. That's fine. Everything's ironic, do but are people ironically jerking off to it in a unironic way because they're pretending to be Dave and by pretending to be Dave they would be into the sexy asses that are from puppets. Stop. No, it's happening. It's happening. You have to read that shit. I have to read that shit. You have to listen to me. That's what this stream is. You don't actually have to listen to me. You can leave.
That's great, Lich Pit. I don't want to hear that ever again. All right, Tiger. Goodbye. Told you once, no, and then uh, you came back and did it anyway. <sighs> you mess around at his computer long enough, better get to move on before it's too late for Rose, or worse yet, your bro catches you. But, my God, they're rumps. They're transfixing. You know, all this is all ironic and all, but your bro reaches echelons of irony that you can only dream of daring to fathom. And on a rare occasion when your guard is down, it seems just a tad unsettling to you. Cal shouldn't be moving. Puppets shouldn't move. Oh, uh, hey, hey there, Cal. Give Cal a nervous little fist bump. Yeah, to follow through with it. You sort of start to flip the fuck out without losing your cool, of course. Pester John to ease your nerves. You get Egbert on the line again and give him a lowdown in your progress. You feel it's quite important to keep the wires hot. He's not answering you, but I wonder what this guy is up to. You know what? After puppet porn, I'm just gonna, 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 just BRB real quick. Gonna go take a piss. Gonna go, uh, piss out some of my, uh, puppet-based frustration. That didn't sound right. I'm gonna pee so that way I don't have to think about puppets anymore. Today's Kronog game is Monster Prom. Y'all are, what is this supposed to be? I have no idea. It's a single player, a local online multi. I have no idea. It's a dating sim with monsters. With bold dialogue, according to Kronog. I have no idea what this is. You can go and get it if you want. Or don't. I get a cut if you do, though. So if you're interested in monsters and uh, dating them, maybe check that one out. I'll be right back. Two minutes. BRB. Music. Pop. Pop. myself a cheese stick it's like a, a piece of mozzarella and it comes in individually packaged pieces of plastic it's quite good I would get myself a um, a gusher but we're out I'm leaving the empty box up in the the cupboard so that way Tilda doesn't know because if she knows that we're out she'll buy more but I don't really want to get more I'm the only one who eats them she thinks they're gross but it's like, you know, I kind of just sit down and edit and play guitar and Warhammer and crap. I don't really need gushers in my diet, too. Hi, welcome back, everyone. I'm eating a cheese stick. What are you guys doing? It's called string cheese. Yeah, you're right. Got some popcorn? Oh. Do it ASMR. Wait until Saturday. Saturday is um 
I think I'll show my video to to Tilda when she gets home. Like first thing when she gets home, be like, "Hey, check it out." The um, the video goes somewhere for me right now between like this is really funny and I start laughing to like, "Holy shit, this is awful." Ow. Um, ow. What's happening Saturday? Um, I think the working title of the video is too long for me to actually put into, um... Is the video cursed? Yes. Yes. It's just utter chaos. It's like, it's a little bit too on brand for me. Um, I don't know if people will be able to handle it. <sighs> you see Egbert on the line again. Give him the lowdown of your progress. You feel it's important. I did switch the screen, right? Okay, you guys can see. Cool. It feels important to keep the wires hot, but he's not answering. You wonder what that guy is up to. I class spec you as the Lord of Life since you got the Lordship recently from Sea... It's not Sea World, it's Sea Land. Sea World is where you can find dolphins and, and stuff like that. Sea Land. I loathe ASMR. If you violate my ears, I will kill you. Well, don't show up on Saturday. <coughs> Show pester log. Hey, what's up? What happened to that monster that totally is definitely in your room before he, uh, did it kill you? Where are you, man? Anyway, things are cool here. Totally cool. Puppets are still awesome. No problems with them or anything like that. Just like really, really awesome. James at Games, thank you for 11 months of support. Sea land is, is an island and a nation. That may be affected by Brexit. I'm not entirely fucking sure. Uh, James at Games, thank you for the gift sub. Um, that's cool of you to give out. Uh, thank you for the five bits. Uh, the fan game. Uh, Cal is a real. Is real. A fan made it and gave it. If I search the real Cal from Homestuck, am I gonna get like things? Like, can I, is it going to be spoilers if I Google that? Or is it going to be porn? Or is it going to be both? Spoilers and also porn? Okay. Big spoilers. You get to see it later. Okay, cool. Looks like Rose finally logged on in again. Didn't John say her house was burning down? You wonder if she's on fire yet or what? Go pester Rose. Is this the same conversation again? Yeah, no, we already read this one, so we're skipping it. John, what are you doing? Snap out of it. We ought to discuss what your grandmother told you, don't you think? Fine. Enjoy your stupor. I'll go in about my business elsewhere. Deploy the punch di design X. John, whenever you read this, you should know that I... I put the shell you collected to use and finally deployed a punch diagnostics. Uh, it is in your study. I can only drop it, though. You have to be the one to mess around with it and see what it does. Uh, when you have finished your weird histronics, maybe you could give it a try. I'm updating my walkthrough, and it would help to know what it does. Is porn spoilers? That's... Mm. Also, I should probably warn you that your house and yard are completely infested with monsters by now. Let's try to be careful. So you see, stupid lousy imps. They're mucking up all my good stuff. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. 
Sorry, I'm not sure what came over me there. I was acting real crazy for some reason. But my head feels like it's clearing up right about now. Porn spoils what people look like naked. Wow. What a cursed fucking thing for you to say. Rebuild the claw hammer and turn it to the spectibus. You're getting way better at this sort of thing. Confront Pogo Ride and prepare yourself for Nana. Thank God your sanity has returned so you can entertain extremely rational, coherent thoughts like this one. You examine the pogo ride from your bathroom rim window and decide you do not like you what you see. What am I doing? Go for insane combos. All right. How do... How Yeah, no. Pogo better! I don't know how to do this. Those sons of bitches. No one risks painful injury on your green slime ghost pogo ride. No one but you. Drop something heavy on those one of those imps. It's not gonna Oh, okay, I didn't expect that to work because I expected him to like bounce away. Mash left to right. Yeah, that that didn't seem like it worked. Rose, my piano. Sorry, no nuance to the controls at all. I was hoping to bludgeon the uh, imp uh, would let go of it. I guess I can't really do that. Broken piano is not the end of the world. I guess you're right. You need to pick up the spoils in person. I can't interact with the grist. So that means that I have to go out the back door? Yeah, is that a problem? Well, it may sound dumb, but I was hoping to avoid Nana and her spooky ghost cookies. You're right, that does sound dumb. Can you see her in the kitchen? Yeah. What is she doing? Is she baking? You could say that. Are you sure I can't get that grist up to me somehow? Maybe. Use the pogo ride to fling the grist through the window. Doesn't look like the grist is going anywhere. You don't know with these dreaming abstractions. Drop the pogo ride into John's bathroom. There you go. See? Restrictions. Managed. Get grist. There you go. Now why don't you go chest on your... Fuck it. You know why you could do that. On what? The Pano is in a violent effort, has unfortunately been slain. But if it hadn't, it would have been, uh, it would have been raked in so many boon dollars. You have no idea. So many. Designix. It's time to build. Nana said to build, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay, yeah. But it looks like it's going to take a lot of grist, so it looks like uh, you're going to be busy, John. So what are you building? Stairs. They're fairly expensive, actually. Oh, man. I could have warned you about those stairs, Rose. It's a meme. It's a meme within a meme. I didn't even know there was author commentary. I told you, oh, dog. I told you, bro. About those stairs. It keeps happening. 
I'll try recouping some of the grisk from the catwalk I built earlier. It keeps happening. Oh, good. Looks like I got, can refund from earlier allocations. I told you, Rose. I told you about the stairs. Okay, consider me briefed on the matter of stairs. Now, if you don't mind, it's hard to concentrate uh, on this without immersing ourselves in Strider's son... Strider's non-sequitur. Did he, you know that he thinks puppets are cool? Does he? He's so dumb. Do people actually think that hell bro... Th this guy? That is cool? Because kind of... Uh, use build grids to construct observation tower on the roof. How did... Hussey have a way of, like, monetizing this? Because, like, the number of people who give a shit about this series... Like, God, I really hope with the amount of work that he went through to get this done, as much bullshit it is for me to read this, did he monetize this in some way for the merch? Okay, good. Ads? All right. Merch, books, books? I know about the games. The side has ads. Oh, I've got ad block on. It's blocking one ad. What kind of ads display on homestuck.com? Is it porn? Do I get porn ads? I don't see any ads. There are books of the comic pages. How would you make a book of this? How? It's porn. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn that back on. Invisible ads. They're like $400 to buy an ad on it. Holy fuck. Um, I I'm glad he was able to make some money off of it. He worked hard. Okay, obviously I don't have enough grits yet, but for something that ambitious, we can start with at least the foundation for upward construction at least. Check the cabinets for imps or something useful. Um, so like... Is it like The Sims physics or is it like um, real physics? Or as long as it's connected up to something, somehow it, it'll stand up. No imps in here. Just got a lot of shaving cream. Dads love shaving. It's basically all they do when they're not baking, that is. Bring two cans of shaving cream. Alright, and that ejects the... You capture like two cans of shaving cream just in case you never know when you'll need to bust out some hilarious shaving cream Santa beard to ratchet up your prankster gambit. Your telescope goes flying out the window. Ride the pogo ride. It's a little cramped in here for that any sort of proper reckless pogoing. You grab it and hang on to it until the right moment presents itself. The towel floats back down onto the ramp. The circle of stupidity is complete. Check in on Nanaquin. Really? See what's cooking. Make your way to the study. It looks like the imps have taken a shining to your crook struder. Cruxite and black goo everywhere. Ride Slimer Pogo and one up that imp. Well, okay, it's not a Slimer Pogo. You mount it anyway and brandish your deadly armor bents. Ride your steed to victory. Those pogo rides are heavy. That's the point. They're not supposed to go anywhere. How is he... <sighs> Questioning Homestuck logic. It doesn't matter. Told that occasionally when we're watching shows... Like, we were watching um, Rocco's Modern Life earlier today. And I asked a question like, why the fuck is this happening? And she's like, it's a cartoon. In fact, she doesn't even say it's a cartoon anymore. She's just like, cartoon. It's like, yeah, all right. This is incredibly dangerous. John, flip the fuck out. Let's see how they like the old double-barreled lather blaster. Whoops, oh shit. Mr. John respectfully asks that you please stand up. Don't move or the pogo gets it. No, sir, boy, flee the boorish rabble post haste. You didn't... You didn't need to do that. Nice abscond, dude. 
Refrigerator, level up for slaying the imp. Refrigerator skyrocket ups the skyrocket ups the etcher ladder. The new rung, five star General Electric has earned two hundred eighty five boon dollars. Things are really looking up for this feisty appliance. Well done, John. Polite congratulations. For some reason, you need feel a sense of positive reinforcement wherever you feel it coming from. Sure, it is a welcome change to your erratic moods earlier. Now, my simple fellow, I have a well mannered query to ask. I blocked the entrance to the study to give you some space to work with the des designics. John, the imp's behind you. Should I take care of it? You trapped your PDA. You trapped your PDA again, didn't you? Why did you have to pick up all that stupid shaving cream? It's so pointless. Drop something heavy on one of those imps. John, might I bother you to, for a can opener? Oblivious to the commotion behind you, you suddenly find yourself pondering whereabouts of a can opener. I got one right here, actually. True facts. Here it is. It's got the little, like, Can you hear it? Just in case if I needed it. This is the one that I had during the uh, can opener ASMR. This is the one that I had during the um, the vine sauce uh, Q and A. You think it probably was? There's probably one in the kitchen, but the path is blocked by your refrigerator. I keep it in my pencil holder just in case if I need it on my desk at some point. And despite your bullshit of you going, that will never come up. Literally, just now it did. So fuck you. What's up now? My random need for a, a can opener on need has happened, and you can't even be angry because I'm fucking right. John is completely unresponsive. What the hell is that nincompoop doing? Years in the future. Let's not totally get carried away here. A studious eye darts about the page like a honeybee gathering nectars of wisdom. Typical human. Please thank you. How uh, You're welcome. Good day. How do you do? Splendid. And you. Gratification. Further courtesy. Fa um, elixir known as T. Absurd. Visual. Fourth digit. Can is candelierved. Everyone is polite. Okay, we're just eating pages we don't need. Um, just real quick, a little bit scared about what this will do. So, HTTP S colon backslash backslash tiny URL dot com Slash zero four one three sprite. <coughs> okay, it's fine. It's this image. Click on the links. Don't. Sc oh, there's links here. I don't have to type them out. I didn't realize that. I was. I I just saw this and I was like, time to read this. And then I I typed it in manually. Construct loft above John's room. Sands. Sands. What do you mean, sands? Each link is important, okay? Um, sprite. Co-player John accesses environment after transition to medium, followed by Sprite Sands kernel. Um, prototyped once pre-hatch. Completely useless in this form. 
However, the suburban grid ha house maintains mysteriously powered convenience presumed to be facilitated by a game which perhaps deems navigation a powerless house to be a handicap less in keeping with spirit of the game's principal statement of challenge. I met a guy earlier today. Uh, he asked me what I do for a living. We were, we were playing Warhammer. He conceded on his first turn. Um, anyway, um, he was asking for me to do a shout out for him. He was... But we're not doing that as the short version of our interaction. I apologize to this man, but uh, don't don't ask people to do that for you when you've just first met them. It's kind of shitty. Internet connection remains stable as well. Will likely remain stable until the internet itself is compromised by some external threat. Something like, oh, let's say hackers. Build, uh, kill monsters, get grist, build on the house. That's the game. Didn't know what the point of that was at the time. Floundering trial and error on exhibit. Shout out to no one. That guy in his community that he wanted to have shouted out. Because uh, he asked me to do it without, you know, getting to know me or my work. He just saw that I had a lot of subs on YouTube and was like, hey, do this thing for me. If it makes you feel any different, the R word that I refuse to say, he said several times. So it's just like, oh, okay, that's the quality of people we're in. Unsuccessful attempt to tier two prototyping, knowing what I know, I might have avoided using the backbreaking Ved Mechum for practical jokes rife with antiquated lexicon and racist aphorisms. Either that, or I would try harder to succeed. Yes, ravioli. Ravioli is the word. And I'm sorry. If I, uh. I said ravioli. Cancelled now. But, you know, I know, I'm sorry. I just said it, it slipped out, gamer moment. Uh, final screen capture before my, I lost my internet signal for a time. I don't know what happened there after I, I turned, the car was nowhere to be found, and the driveway plateau was in a state of disrepair. The mysteries, will they never cease? Prototype, Sprite prototyped once more with grand, grandmother's remains. She treats John in a helpful exposition in friendly and maternal, grand maternal manner. Co-player has displayed inexplicable capricious behavior since arrival. Stress related? Contracted virus indigenous to this realm. He should be noticed. He's kind of a weird guy anyway. Design X is deployed. No clue what it does at the mercy of the co-player players foolish prioritization uh, tendencies ravioli I said it again yeah I'm sorry rev is over party yeah and then I got to do my crying video I've made that joke too many times shout outs to the Dark Souls 1 PvP having a glitch tech named ravioli step what what is ravioli step do not buffer Gris payload with slain foe. Whether I deal the damage that the co player does, the yield is the same, though I have significant advantage in battle. Taking measures into my own hand deprives John of hand to hand combat experience, which ostensibly will become more critical later. We building the point, building up towards the point. I like how the resolution on these, like, these are some compressed as fuck JPEGs. It's, uh,. When you backstep towards someone and instantly backstab, it's real dumb. What? Why is that called a ravioli step? A ravioli step. Um, ah, steeds. Steeds, what steeds? We're hurling. Has the whirlwind at home in your mains? Is the sensitive ear alert to flame in every fiber? Hearing the familiar song from above, all in accord to the strange, uh, strain your brawn chest and hooves barely. What the fuck is this <sighs> yeah I have no idea what the fuck is going on here another one of these things really Egbert really 
I'm going to uh, turn off Steam Friendless again because I continue to forget to do so. View of the kidnapped father's room. I cannot see in for some reason. Perhaps this is because John himself has never entered the room. It is possible that only I can see, in a sense, what John can see or has already seen. I've uh, not found the time to discuss this with him yet. If he enters the room, the question may answer himself. Okay. Construct loft above John's room. Okay. You're fucking up the house something fierce right now. Ladders appear to be cheaper than stairs. Fellow John, it appears that we have reached an impasse. Thank you for the uh, five bits um, there. Stop. Talk now. Those aren't proper supports. This isn't up to code. Yeah. If I had to explain hope suck in one word, it'd be horses. So get ready for a lot of horses. I've heard about horse fucking already. I, I heard about that just like incidentally. Because like... Listen, sometimes I get like messages on Tumblr. They're like, hey man, I was having a real hard time a couple years back. But, you know, or, you know, recently. And I'm, I'm really glad that you're around and your content and your videos. I really like your Flash game videos. I really like that stuff. And then I'll get one where it's like, is it weird if I want to fuck myself with super glue? And then there's another one that's just like, hey, Rev, what's your opinion of Marxism? And uh, will it ever be viable for the United States? It's like. I don't want to answer any of these. Like the first one I answer, and that's one of the ones that I answer. I'm not an expert on any of that shit. Ah, the Mark's kink. You know, those bushy beards on old men. Like Santa. Dilf. Open the opener dilemma remains unsettled, most unfortunately. It is unfortunate, I guess. What were we talking about again? But it has been a pleasure nonetheless. Thanks you for the courtesy, but it's not really necessary, but thanks anyway. Okay, but thank you. Is glue fetish just horse necrophilia? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Not an issue anymore since Tumblr got rid of all the night safer. You say that, and yet, and yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and boot up Tumblr on my phone real quick. It won't work because the Tumblr app on the phone does not work for shit. It just turns into a glitchy mess. Most of the time now, I'm just trying to use it so that way I can, like, find pictures of cute cats. Show them to Tilda. Like that? That's a cute-ass rat. I'm gonna retweet that or reblog that shit right now. And that way later when Tilda gets home and she's like, man, I had a hard day at work. I'll be like, here's a video of a rat getting combed with a tiny like brush. It's really cute. Anyway, Kevin Wu is answering questions. So I can ask him questions like, who the fuck are you? Which is my question for every single fucking person. Let's see. Okay, now I've got to wait for the app to actually load. That's a chinchilla. No, it's not. That's a fucking rat. Anyway. Um, well, this joke is played out because it's lagging too much. I'll, uh, I'll read it later. Also, some, uh, someone sent me an email about, uh, the, I think it's Vox is the name of the guy who does like a uh, reading of this or sort of flash game equivalent of this. That way you can, you can watch this and not read it out loud. I promise to read it. It doesn't really matter if you guys are angry that I don't read it good. Here's a message from Tumblr. Um, <clears throat> So what you're saying is Pepsi is a condiment. That's one. Voxus. 
there's a whole cast. Uh, thank you very, very much. So, uh, dear favorable small primate, I just had a dream where incidentally like four or six guys dressed up as Bakika, uh, like in the context of the dream, there were cosplayers, but none of them were actually supposed to be Bakika. This is inexplicable to me. That's something that someone wanted an answer to. I shall take leave now, John, until next time. Wait, where all this sweet loot come from? And why was there suddenly a crumpled hat on your head? Gather Grisk and mag examine Designex. Feeling especially economical with your behavior suddenly, you scoop up all the Grisk in the room and turn your attention to the punch di Designex all in one fell swoop. The design feature device features a countertop station designed with a keyboard setup not unlike old fashioned computer like an old fashioned computer. There's a blinking red light. Each I have an Apple II E, I wanna say. It's over in the corner. I haven't plugged it in. Clear your throat. Give me a moment. <clears throat> I should plug it in. I think I could stream it. I've got like two games for it. The uh the games you can download because um it was before the internet but like you can download the games onto the floppy disk and you can record the games via sound cuz that's how they used to do it. So you put it out like a I want to say you put it out like a cassette tape so I'd have to find a cassette tape. I got it from a friend. I have no way of explaining this shit. I'm just saying words at this point. Rose, answer Dave. Oh wait, why am I the one getting this stupid game for you? You're the one who's wrist deep in puppet ass. What is your, what is the specific, you're the one who should be wrist deep in puppet ass. What is the specific problem? The problem is that I'm up to my do goddamn neck and fucking puppet dog. You know you like mannequin dick. Accept it. I'm enrobed in chafing, wriggling, goddamn puppet pelvis. How long until Tilda... Okay, Tilda doesn't get off for work for a bit. I don't want her to walk in while I'm saying this. An obscenely long, coarse Kermit dick... Cock, excuse me. Cock this time. We switched things up. Um, is being dragged across my anguished face. Let's put this into perspective. You put up with the puppet prostate uh, because you love it. Also, coarse is a good word. You don't seem to harbor any sympathy for the fact that I've, I've burrowed fuck deep into lively, fluffy Muppet buttock. I'm whirling in a terrible cyclone at the epicenter of my own per personal holocaust of twitching foam noses. It's like a fucking apocalypse of perky proboscis here. Like the proboscis, I guess. Are you going to start rapping about this? What? No, no, listen. Prong the flesh breft of home. Found solace twixt the cleft of foam. Oh, Jesus, no. Of apocalypse, your thoughts eclipse. The painted pair of parted lips. She's actually fucking good at this. This rhymes. It's not great, but it rhymes. I dare through the kiss and stir of air. The tease is tough of orange hair and her face is flush with lover's fits hands snug in plush as gloves befit there you go that was good rose did good <laughs> multiple claps there you go okay dickinson if you can shut up your perfumey trap for half a second this is serious i'm just saying if i see one more of those so if I see one more soft bulbous bottom being like kind of just jutting out of an impudent or whatever I'm gonna fly off the handle I'm gonna do some sort of acrobatic fucking pirouette off the handle and win a medal or some shit let's hope that you there will be a squishy dare's ear somewhere below the handle to break your fall I'm actually doing this because I promised I would the syllable counts don't match you need to enable the clap better TV emote. Yeah. He reached the meme line. Where is the meme line? Is this the meme line? Rose is the smart one. Jade is the horny one. I don't like that you said that. Acrobatic fucking pirouette off the handle. 
then let's hope that there will be a squishy derriere somewhere below the handle to break your fall. Not that one. I'm going to do some sort of acrobatic par fucking pirouette off the handle and win a, like a medal or some shit. There you go. Jade is not horny. I have a feeling that you guys have read enough, like, weird porn that you've started to mix the reality, the canon, with the non-canon porn that you've watched. You flip over the card containing your pogo ride. Anytime you capture log something, a new code appears on the back of the card. You've always wondered what this code is for. Those damn things are hard to read, but then you've never really found any reason to decipher them. Perhaps now. Until now, perhaps. Examine the reverse side of the hammer card strife in Strife Spectabicus. Looks like the cards from your Strife decks have codes too. Do the... Oh my god, I almost didn't read that. DQM something, oh. H-E-K. Sometimes I have a hard time with those. I think I'm a computer. Looks like the cards from your Stripe deck had codes too. Enter the capture code seen on the back of the Pogo card, ride card. You enter that into the keyboard, or at least you think that's what the code is. The red light switches off and a green light begins beaking, blinking. Insert card. I'm not reading the uh, chat all that well. I, I hope that I hope that uh, the mods are taking care of anything that's actually a problem. Type in that. In an interest of due diligence, you enter the other code on. And repeat the process with that card too. Both cards are now punched with different hole patterns. An attempt to retrieve Pogo from card. Well, should be a simple matter of. Oh, it looks like it's trapped now. You don't see how you can access the item anymore or store a new item in there for that matter. These cards are pretty much useless now. The items they contain are toast. Maybe they're not all lost. Recalling from your experience with the pre-punched card, you should be able to use these cards to replicate the items in question. Assuming you got the codes right, that is. Mash keys heedlessly. Not quite through with your cowboy empiricism just yet. You mash out... Uh, the keyboard to generate a random, co random code. You enter... The design X uh, stops you after eight characters. It appears to be the maximum length for a code, and a green light goes on, signaling the readiness for a card. You figure you might as well burn the shaving cream since the product is not exactly at a premium in your household, so you figure you might as well merge the two cans into one card. You feel a little sad if your card, your dad isn't around for this. You have a feeling that he would get a real kick out of the idea of duplicating more shaving cream. You punch a card with a pattern that there is no way related to the code for the item it contains. This should be, this should make for an interesting experiment. Mad science is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, you burned another card in the process. Your deck is really dwindling now. Maybe you should have thought this a little better, or through a little better. On the plus side, you just freed up your PDA, which is overflowing with pent-up chatter and anxious pesters. John, answer your chums. Puppets! Awesome! That's all there really is to say. Wait, I'm about to watch, uh, John, I'm about to throw a bathtub through your wall. Watch out. That was totally unnecessary. I made a shortcut upstairs. I thought it would be a good idea if you'd get up there and try the cards as soon as possible. Also, you weren't being terribly responsive. You mean these stairs? These are some pretty shitty stairs. They're so narrow. How am I supposed to climb them? They're perfectly naviga navigatable. I'm saving the grist for now. If you keep slaying foes, collecting grisk, and expanding our cash limit, we may not need to be so economical with our resources in the future. So why didn't you just build up a uh, way all the way through that hole in my dad's room? Have you ever been in there? No. Exactly. Huh? I'd rather not get sidetracked. I'm more interested in further exploring the mechanics of this game than I am 
in watching you discover what outlandish Harlequin decor your father keeps in his room. Yeah, what if your dad has some weird, like, clown fetish? That's not a f thing I'm a fan of. It's not a good thing at all. We're at 539, those of you wondering. Um, and my throat's starting to give out a little bit, so I might have to stop here in a bit. But we'll go, we'll, we'll try and get two hours in. We'll go from there. Um, I'd rather not get sidetracked. The more interesting in the further explanation. All oh, right. Um, oh, come on. It's, what's the big deal? I'll just climb up and go right through. Will you? Yeah, why not? Are you saying you've never wondered what's in there or why it's being kept a secret from you? I'm, well, I mean, yeah. Then trust me, you won't be going right through. Wait, what you're saying? There's something like troubling in there? I don't know. What do you mean? What do you see in there? I can't see in there. Oh, but I don't have a good feeling about it. Whatever. I can't handle a few of those stupid clown paintings. It's some... Um, he's... What if he's a closet clown? I mean, that's a possibility. That was an episode of, uh... Rocco's Modern Life. It's interesting. Move punch cards to John's room. Drag some Cruxite dowels up to John's room. Collect Grisk and examine safe. You swoop it up to... You swoop up the bountiful supplies of Grisk generated by your co-player's recent exploits. From now on, it would probably go without saying that you'd nab any Grisk laying around without making a big fuss over it. Did I watch Static Kling yet? Uh, I don't think we've gotten to that one yet. We watched the one where... um, It's like, I have no son. We watched that one recently, which was interesting given everything. Uh, oh, we haven't watched the uh, the special yet. No, we're trying to get caught up on old uh, Rocco first. Um. <sighs> Anyone know what the next page is? Uh, 542. Oh, the next S page is. I don't know. Um, you'll not have any grits lying around with making... Uh, check out the busted safe, which has a noble... Sac which was made a noble sacrifice in battle. Uh, some of your father's odds and ends have spilled out, including a, some old newspaper clippings, two rather hefty tomes. Uh, it's fair to bet that those books are comprised at least half the weight of the safe. Examine family tome of humor. It's pretty... Uh, it's another copy of Colonel Sassaker's daunting text of magical frivolity and practical japery. Looks, this one looks really old, perhaps uh, original printing. Could it be the same one involved in your grandmother's unfortunate accident on that fateful day? Dad would never speak a word about it, but your maybe Nana wouldn't be so tight-lipped. You give it a cursory perusal. It appears to be similar to your reprinting, listing all the japes and you have come to know and love. You capture log it, thinking you might give it a closer look later. Examine contents of safe. Uh, you look at you take a look at the other book. Uh, you're sure that dad was, uh, you're sure your dad thought this was a scintillating read, but it looks pretty boring to you. Maybe you'll crack it open someday when you're old enough to shave. Everything in the safe was obviously very important to your father. You wonder why he kept it locked away from you. Some things you'll never understand. It seems that he's collected scraps over the years. These articles go back decades. Look at the pieces of the paper taped over to the wall. Son, if you're reading this, it means you are now strong enough to lift the safe. You are now a man. As such, you are entitled to what is inside. I know you will take this responsibility seriously. I am so proud of you. Oh, okay. Turn card over. 249.13. Guess it's the combination to the safe, which is completely useless. Why would you put the combination to the safe inside the safe? That seems useless. I should probably get food together for Tilda. She's coming home soon. Might go out and get something. I don't know. We'll see. You examine the back of the capture log card on the floor. You guess these are all zeros or capital zeros? Zeros would probably make a lot more sense for an empty card, you think. Capture log the card. Can you cheat and just get a whole... Oh, fuck. Can you get more cards? 
Can you get cards using the card printer? Like, hold up. If you know that 000 is the card number for an empty, like, that's the... Just keep reading. Enter the code on the back of the card to the diagnostics. Punch card. Show pester log. Wait, John, before you punch... Oh, I was about to say. Uh, if you first look at the note on the code and then remove the card from the card, you would have punched a blank one. You, uh, you would have only burned one card instead of two. Oh, yeah, you're right. Damn it. Throw your hat down in disgust. Capture log, punch, capture log, capture log... Capture log, punch, capture log, capture log card. What? Yeah, no, that's fair. Take PDA. Two card Silidex, inventory of dumbass. Level up. Colonel Sassacre's level up for slaying the imp. Colonel, s the Colonel soars to new heights of the Eshel ladder, receiving, uh, reaching this rung, one man, Jalump vacuum, and pockets. 9,550 boon dollars. Trump change for a genteel aristocratic southern colonel. Bathtub level up for slaying the imp. Bathtub surges heroically and surpasses the rung Archimedes Aqua Cradle. Aqua Cradle. Proceeding directly to the vaulted rung Taft Jammer. The tub makes off with a cool 490 boon dollars. Tub's basin capacity remains unaffected. Level up. Say, oh, can we not level up everything? The safe was slain in batter, battle. A uh, great flaming nautical pyre carries it off to Valhalla. Make your way up those stairs post haste. You're not sure, but they look pretty precarious to you. You might be assured the stairs are... But you've been assured the stairs are perfectly navigatable. Lad scramble. They're not even close enough to... Why didn't you put them right up against the wall? You should have put them right up against the wall so you could just kind of like... Do a little, like, shuffle thing. I did, like, a pantomime for a shuffle. And it's it was embarrassing enough that I'm glad I don't do a face cam. My point is, why didn't you just put it up against the wall? That would have saved you grisk. They're, like, a foot wide. Yeah, I know, but if you're right up against the wall, then you can at least use it as a way to, like, get up the stairs safely. Lad scramble, not shuffle. Excuse me. Ignore locale and find the beta. You wander, wander over the place where your bro keeps his sweet turntable gear. Man, that setup is sweet. You feel pangs of... Okay, I just wanted to make sure I told my wife I love her. Uh, you feel pangs of jealousy whenever you walk by. Really cool jealousy, though. Like, you uh, kind of shit instead of getting all worked up about it. You don't actually give a shit. One of your brother's rad and extremely expensive ninja stores is missing, though. You know this drill all too well. Trouble's a brewing. Love my wife. That's why she's my wife. If this is a complex thought for you, don't marry anyone. Until you understand it, at least. Take expensive ninja sword. What sword? Exe exit your brother's room. You approach the exit. Griska. You approach the exit. There's something on the door that you haven't seen before. Looks like one of your bro's ironic comics he left out for you to check out. Why does everyone have like a like crazy fucking like printal unit? What have I done? Animal, please start breathing. Oh God, please breathe. Ha, okay, make believe time is over. What will Nanny do if she finds out? No one can ever know. I have to hide the body, but where? I think. I imagine one, one time I really need you. Hello, Ralph. I want to play a game. I want to play a game. What if you don't get... What, what do you mean, what if you don't? This is a very old MS Paint forms joke. Okay. Foreshadowing. Some of this stuff 
you know he's just leaving around for to get under your skin. This is obviously another ploy of his relentless siege of one-upsmanship to get your goat. The same goat that you meaning to bleat, like, ironically, but still haven't had... Uh, but we'll still have to wait for more appropriate time. Can you... Can, so wait, can you have, like, a, a three-way going with, like, John, Dave, and um, Rose, where each one is controlling each other person's game? That seems actually like a bad idea. One of you guys probably shouldn't be playing the game actively. Word choice. Yeah, it's probably a bad word choice. Sorry about that. Please don't freeze, phrase it like that. Could you, could you have it that way? Rose is controlling John's game and John is controlling Dave's game and Dave's game is controlling... Or Dave is controlling... Uh, Rose's game. Can you switch server hosting? You can't move people. Sure. What if you do a thing like you sort of like, uh... Like in Half-Life where you like jump up on top of something, but then you like pick it up and drop it while you're standing on it and jump. And then you just float up into the air. Could you like... Control your own server, and then... Oh, you can't control your own server because you can't switch server codes. Okay. Go into the kitchen. No sign of the bro here either. Well, aside from the absurd quantity of dangerous stuff he leaves lying around. Oh my god, I just looked up to see what's there. <laughs> Fucking hell, what the hell is that? Transfer katana to strife spectibus. With an escalating sense of threat, you think it's best time you shift your katana to your spectabus. You figure it's better to free up the card anyway, since you might need to grab some of this stuff. Set blender to mix. He guess her bro set some, uh, stuck some fake blood capsules into the puppet. Pretty gross. Spot one of, uh, your bro's many webcams nearby recording the incident. Seems like he's, uh, may... He, he seems like you may have just unwittingly been an accessory of some sort of grisly puppet snuff film. You're not sure how you feel about that. There was blood in the puppet. Blood puppet. Capture log buster sword from behind microwave. This might be the only thing in the apartment that's bigger a piece of shit than your own sword. You put it back behind the microwave where it belongs. Set Blender to crush ice. I really want to go to fucking Lakeline Mall now. Like, they've got, like, buster swords like that in, like, the 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 gift shop thing they've got. They've got this, like, little, like, store. And it's run by the same couple, and I guess their daughter, that's been there since, like, I was a kid. And the only reason I ever like going there is to just, like, look at the swords and then not buy anything. I remember one time I walked in there, I'd been playing Oblivion, and I wanted to get, like, an alchemy set because I thought alchemy was cool because I had been playing Oblivion. And so I asked the shop owner if they had any, like, beakers and stuff like that. And, um, he got real mad at me. He was like, so you can make, so you can make meth? But he said it in, like, a really thick accent, which I'm not going to try and emulate because, um, I, I don't want to be canceled twice in a stream. But my point is that, Ever since then, it's been kind of, like, I, I don't really want to go in there. I mean, it's been, like, years, so, like, he doesn't know that, like, it's me. Like, a person I went to college with works at one of the stores in the mall, but doesn't recognize me anymore. So, every time I walk in, she tries to, like, sell me shit, and I'm like, nah, it's good. I keep walking. To be fair, I was a teenager looking for, like, alchemical supplies. That's, uh... Seems like a teenager with a mohawk wanting to have meth supplies. Or, excuse me, alchemy supplies. Sounds like the biggest bullshit. You're trying to make meth. Oh, if you get cancelled twice, then it cancels out and you're uncancelled. Wow, that's really convenient. Well, I guess I'm uncancelled now. Really gla gra glad I'm back, y'all. I didn't know that's how it worked. Listen, I just wanted to do alchemy as a kid. I didn't want to do meth. We call that chemistry in real life. I didn't have a chemistry class because I was homeschooled. 
the difference between chemistry and alchemy is like I don't know I don't it's not any different it's basically the same thing to me anyway random story out of the way Set the blender to ice, crush ice. It's sort of just bouncing around in there now. You're making a bit of a mess now. Hide evidence in microwave. See, like all of his hobbies are cool, but you guess he got to hide his shit somewhere. But just when you want to heat up a burrito or something. But what if you just want to heat up a burrito or something? The kitchen is pretty much useless. Grab those fireworks. He capture like the fireworks. All the fireworks the sink has to offer. You just know these are going to come into handy. Uh... Why would they be in sync if they weren't? Looks like there's one still stuck in the garbage disposal. What store was Rev talking about? It's a store in uh, Lake Line Mall. I don't even think it's a chain. It's just like the place where you go and get like bootleg One Piece statues and um, BTS backpacks and swords. Capture log shurikens. You grab the shurikens, five, and careful where you're putting that stuff. Especially in your... Yeah, that's going to be a problem if you capture log shurikens and fireworks. Yeah, do not pick up the fireworks. Just let them be. They always have, like, oriental, quote, quote, music playing the whole time. It's, yeah. You put a box of fireworks into the card five and prepare to, oh, or card three, apparently. That settles that, you guess. Take nunchaku. Take the nunchaku, once again, grabbing without thinking ahead. First, you capture like the boxing in with, uh, while adeptly avoiding the shuriken trap, which you've set for yourself only moments ago. Again, you round up all the fireworks. Time to regroup here. Capture like each shuriken individually. That's... That's... Why would you do that? Shuriken is going to knock shuriken out. You grab each shuriken one at a time, knocking out the sh nunchaku. Do they stack? I guess they do. Rev killed Hussey and is wearing him like a fursuit. Well then. Capture lock nunchucks. You can't take the nunchucks. Everything seems to be in order. It would be badass to go with authentic Japanese weapon names for each weapon, but sometimes you just got to compromise with its modest. Examine fetch modest. Flip over the fed mo fetch modest and check out the back. You're not really sure where you're keeping this thing. Oh, well, who cares? Press eject button. Oh, hell no. Not after all the trouble you went through to get that stuff situated. This is potentially a very dangerous button. That's a very useful button. You just press that button and then become a wall of bullets. Change to Scrabble Points Hash Modus. First, you program your Modus with Scrabble Points Hash function and add it to the list. This might be a cool function to use, but it looks like you have to empty your Celadex to select it, and you're not going to do that. No way. Check out the box click detect collisions. Okay. Take out skateboard. And just what this is this guy so happy about? What is he looking up to there? I think if you see one more soft bulbous bottom being like kind of just jutting out impudent or whatever, it's going to fly off the handle. Bonk. You add the skateboard. Actually, no, you don't. The collision has been detected. Well, you take the wheelie ride. Man, your inventory's nomenclature is getting lamer by the minute. The wheelie ride. Yay. Capture log the unplugged power cord. Take the power cord. Wait, no, that's not going to work. Think of a new word for power cord. Electric. Okay, so like... I don't understand how it works, but it could be like electric rope. Take the battery pack. Take the battery pack using a Y as a consonant 
And your Solidex reluctantly accepts. Oh, God. This tactic is notoriously employed by hashmat noobs. You just don't care about that right now. Besides, it's not like your bro's around anywhere to see. It's the amount of vowels. So Cal isn't moving around on his own. He's being put places. That's that's slightly better. Dave, search for some mad snacks, yo. Oh, it's just a little Cal again. You can never stay mad at him. Anyway, you gotta uh, you gotta get this way hung rude hunger under control. You figure you ought to scope the fridge out for some grub. The hunger is so ill mannered that it would make room for a whole snooty downgers commit mess. Suicide. Open for refrigerator. Is there a good stopping point coming up soon? Because I should probably stop and, like I said... You know what? Hold on. I'll be... Give me five seconds. I'm just gonna walk over here and start the oven. You guys want anything from the kitchen? Is 375 hot enough to cook a chicken? I can cook chicken at 375, right? That seems right. That's good. I want cake. Good bat. Uh, too bad. No, you're not getting any. Uh, Gushers, no. PBJ sandwich. I'm allergic to peanut butter, so we don't have peanut butter. Uh, burger. Can I have a burger? Fun fact. Dave's hair is a bird. Thank you for the, uh, the five bits. How is that a bird? It's not a bird. Oh, God. More shitty swords. Of course you knew where they were in there. You're not even sure why you looked. If you want to keep the food or beverages in this apartment, you better... Uh, pretty much ha got no choice but hide yourself away in your closet, which is why his orange juice is in the closet? Or no, apple juice. Got more gushers? I'm out of gushers. But I'm not letting Tilda know, because like I said, she'll buy more for me, because she cares about me, and she knows that I like gushers. But also, I'm like, I don't really need gushers, you know? I sort of eat gushers like I, you know, eat, or would take antidepressants if, like, the American health system actually made any fucking sense so um but right now i feel like if i eat too many gushers then i'll just have more sad so it doesn't really do me any good so i'm just not having any take swords the hell of it you try and take the entire jumble of unbelievably shitty swords and brace yourself for well it looks like that worked actually capture log of the jumble of unbelievably shitty swords Use ice maker. It's still hot around here. I I don't believe gushers are all natural. That's some bullshit. They ride on the outside because they can get away with it. Because again, that doesn't make any sense. None of them have long walls of text. Okay, I'll I'll push through then. You just spent several cherry bombs. Wait, who's not looking at you through the reflection? Where'd that little dude scamper off to this time? Capture log cherry bombs. You go for the cherry bombs unsuccessfully. After mulling it over for a bit, you decide to take the red spherical salutes. Take blender. Cherry bombs would kick the battery out. Yeah, okay. Uh, take blender. Blender is a pretty simple word, and you can already tell that's not going to work. Instead, you take the whirling blade pitcher. It's not really a much better name for it anyway, you think. Activate dar garbage disposal. You stuff the down the Mr. Purple guy into the garbage disposal. You're still not exactly sure what he's so happy about or why he's looking up at there. While you're at it, you dump the contents of the... Oh, it's a puzzle piece. I see. I mean the whirling blade pitcher into your disposal and suffer an unfortunate garbage disposal head jam. You know something in the reflection. Something's above you. Look up. Hello, Dave. The hatch in the crawl space above your apartment. Bro's always tucking away in there when he's busting out his rad stealth stunts. He's so slick that the tangling cord never even jostles. You know, he's just being ironic with his weird mind games. There's no way he could actually be serious about aping those shitty movies. Use the turntables and center blocks to make a fort. It's a pretty sweet fort you've just made for your... Uh, you just made and you're pretty sure your brother would agree under different circumstances you might be high-fiving over it right now but rather than get inside and take it for take her for a spin you really just need to use it to get into that hash yank cord 
This is the time to face your destiny. No going back now. I don't know what I expected. Of course it's going to be puppet ass. I'm just going to let this gift play out. Yeah, there's pretty much no way there wasn't going to be a bunch of puppets up in there. Hold on, why am I getting this stupid game for you? You're the only one who should be re- Oh, okay, we already read this. So this- Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I would honestly be upset about this. Reach on to- Reach, uh, the note on the hatch. Bro, roof now. Bring Cal. We're doing it, man. We're making this happen. Dave, burst out of puppets like the one. Dave, be the other guy. John, uh, you are now the other guy. Take the dowels and sheets from bed and make a tent. So much fun. A huge waste of time, yes, but so much fun. Carved totem of punch pogo card. You put the punch card containing the pogo ride into the slot and carve a totem of, with the cruxite dowel. Repeat the process with the other cards and dowels. How is this helpful? Using the coordinated containing... Uh, the card containing the code for the hammer, as well as the one for the random code you punched over the shaving cream card for the hell of it, you carve the respective tones for each card. Do the same with the capsule and capsule card. You make a totem for the capsule card. Barely bones looking totem, if you ask. If you ask you. Collect totems. I read that right. Didn't realize it did. Miss you. Thank you for the raid. It's very kind of you. Welcome, guys. I'm gonna be stopping here in a minute because I'm gonna make dinner for my wife. But we're doing uh we're doing Homestuck. We're on page 620. If you want to follow along, boot up homestuck.com slash story slash six twenty, read along, and enjoy this garbage. <laughs> I'm honestly having a good time with y'all. I think um it's a lot easier to read uh with y'all hanging out with me. You stole the totems into your anthem. Produce capture card. The alchemitter requires one unit of any type of grist to produce one card. You decide to use the shale since it seems to be generally useful, less useful than the grist as of now. You make a whole bunch of them. Cool. So we just made more cards. Whoa, did you just make all these? Yes. Sweet, thanks. What did you do with those weird blue wobbly vase looking things? I brought the totems out to the alchemitter to test them. I'm taking some things into my own hand to save some time. Okay. I'm glad you guys like listening to a dyslexic crazed man try and read Homestuck. I think this is proof of how starved the Homestuck community is for content. When watching me is considered a good use of your time. You created a hammer at the expense of two units of build grisk. You make a bro pogo ride too. Minus five build and one shale. New wave beastie. Thank you for the half a year of support. You take the totem carved with random code and create a rocket pack. With a bunch of crap stuck in it, like looks like a cinder block and a violin or a flower pot. These items have been rendered the device completely unoperable. You might as well uh, put this use or p this piece of junk to use. Collect cards. Using the little strategy, you first grab the Harry Anderson's wise guy by Mike Cavendy, then use the cards and eject your PDA, uh, then the book against the flush of cards in your deck. Nice going. Turn on detect collisions. You flip your fetch mode eye, but there is no such option. This would be... This is idiotic. Read book, be wise guy. Be the wise guy. Oh. Is this important? Harry and I never speak anymore. You never really understand Calvary's relation to who Anderson was, or why he wrote a book about him. His ambivalent attitude towards your favorite musician, or... Tilda just got home. Um, these antidotes always struck you as a little bit weird, and you be honest. You tend not to read much of the text in the book. You mostly look at it for the diagrams for all the cool tricks. You skip it. Don't gotta read it. Thank you, Pit 
ZX2 for the 17 months of support. That's very kind of you. Uh, are we good? Uh, would this be a good spot to stop? Because I kind of want to see my wife now. 665 is a good stopping point, by the way. I think 665 is a while out from here. It's probably a good enough spot. So how about we just save here? Because apparently we can save. So 630 is where we're at. For when I lose track, I hit save. Save, save, save. Save, 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 save. But that's what we're going to call it for now. Let me go ahead and flip the thing. And then I'll check and see if there's any art on the board. If you're not aware, I show off art at the end of streams. And if you're also not aware, you should watch it because it makes the artist happy. And it costs you absolutely nothing other than a moment of your life. Um, there is no new art. Um, I mean, like, two hours is a good amount of time to read anything. Especially out loud. My voice starts to cut out after a while. Uh, I don't see any new art, so I'm going to have to call it there. We're at 6.30 um, in the the story. And uh, anyway. I posted ravioli stuff in the Discord. It doesn't explain why it's named that, though. That's fine. It's some weird gamer tech thing. It's going to be called something stupid. Uh, I'm going to go for now. Let me see if anyone's live. Um, and if any of my friends are live, then we'll host them. Uh, ba 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 all right, let's check vine sauce first. Let's see, any of those jabronis live? Fred is live and Mike is live. Um, Mike is doing No Man's Sky crab meal milk for real this time. And Fred appears to be doing, uh, wow. So I'm going to host, um, looks like he's also playing Yu-Gi-Oh at the same time. I'm going to give him a raid because uh, he needs some love too. So that's where I'm going to go. Um, thank you guys uh, for watching. 7,300 pages to go. Um, okay, that's not so bad. So it's like uh, six hours, give or take. 600 pages in six hours. That's so about 100 pages an hour. Uh, you say there's 7,000 pages, 7,300 pages left. Um, so 7,300. That's only a mere 73 hours. Right? Um, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, yes. I'll be streaming... Um, so, it'll be done in like 36, 37 streams. Uh, but anyway. Um, I'll be streaming uh, Dognarampa tomorrow. We've got the first class trial of um, Dognarampa 2. So, if you want to binge watch it, now's a good time. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.